I recently ran across an interesting technology used for preventative maintenance on commercial and industrial grade equipment. And it got me to thinking, can I use that same technique on my woodworking tools? The technology I'm referring to is a set of hardware sensors and software analysis packages that track the vibration, sound, and temperature profiles of certain machines. It works by setting a baseline of values and then monitoring those machines over time. And if there's something unusual that occurs, it could be an indication that there's a bad bearing or a bent shaft or something like that that needs attention. I found some informative web pages which discusses this issue. I'll leave some links in the comments section to those articles. Now I don't have access to that expensive hardware and software, but I'm wondering if I could use the sensors built into my tablet and smartphone to do something similar. I'm setting up the tablet on this anti-friction pad because if I don't, this thing moves all around and actually wants to slide off the back of the table. I know that this will dampen some of the vibration, but I really don't have any other way to do it without chasing this tablet all over the table. During the first round of measurements, I rested the tablet on the main table only. In this second round, I'm going to connect the auxiliary table to the main table to make the frame more rigid and see if that changes the results. Accelerometers and smart devices collect movement data in three axes. 
In order to aggregate the values for each axis into one value, for acceleration, I take the sum, and for frequency, I take the average. Now that the data is collected and analyzed, let's take a look at the line graphs. The line graph shows the values changing as I increase the speed. Notice that the measurements collected when the table was unsupported are very unpredictable. They go up and down. But when the main table is connected to the support tubes, we can see that the measurements are much more even and predictable. Looking at the machine decibel levels is no surprise. Basically, the machine gets louder as I turn up the speed. And the values collected between the two tests are so similar, they more or less lay right on top of each other on the line graph. So those are the baseline numbers for my machine. Unfortunately, they're not very useful to me right now, but a year from now, I could take those same measurements and look for any changes that might indicate a problem. Or if I bought a second machine, such as a ShopSmith Mark 7, I could retake those measurements and do a comparison between those two machines. Well, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.